Hi. Hi. How are you, Leah? Good. How are you? Chief, I'm how doing are you? Great. We're ready. Let's get, let's get this rocking. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to everyone out there in Facebook land. Thank you to all the airmen, soldiers, sailors, Marine, Coasties, and family members for tuning in today. We have a very special guest. But before we get to our guest, let me say hello and hi to my co host Julie and Leah. How are you ladies doing? Hi. Doing good. Excited. Hi. I didn't mean to talk over you, but yes. No, you're good. <laughs> doing good. It's great to see you guys. I miss you guys in person. <laughs> yes, me too. Well, let's get this going. Julie, you mind introducing our guest? I would love to introduce today's guest. We have a very, very special guest with us today. America absolutely loves him. He and his family are huge supporters of our nation's service members and military families. You know him from his family's reality television series and his gourmet burger restaurant, Wahlburgers. It is our absolute pleasure to welcome Chef Paul Wahlberg today. Hey, how is everyone? Hi. Hi. Oh, good. we are good. <laughs> We're good. Thanks, Paul, for joining us. We're really excited to have you as a guest on our Chief Chat program. And for everybody who is watching, um, we know you're just as excited we, as we are. So leave some love for Paul in the comments. Let us know where you're watching from. And if you have any questions from him, we'll, for him, we'll be reading them throughout the broadcast. And if you love these chief chats, be sure to follow us if you're not already so you can stay informed on who the next guest is coming up. And then you know the drill. If you wanna enjoy this with your friends, start your watch party. Mine started. <laughs> Good. Mine started, it's on. Good job. <laughs> well, Chef, thank you so much for joining us. It's terrific to meet you and have you with us. We uh, greatly appreciate you taking time out of your busy day to spend, of course, with the Exchange family. So first couple of questions, right? How you been and what part of the country are you in now? Uh, right now, I'm, I'm in Hingham, Massachusetts. I've been, I'm good. You know, we, it's, been, it's been a long haul over the last uh, several months, but I'm doing very well. And, you know, everyone's happy, healthy. So that's all that matters. And we're just, uh, we're in Hingham and we're just getting the restaurants open. Um, in Massachusetts, they just, let, they just lifted the ban on Monday. So we're just getting the restaurants open and excited to be out there serving customers. Good, good. So speaking of restaurants, I know that industry has been hit hard this year during the pandemic. Um, so what's changed for you and for Wahlburgers? Well, for us, we, you know, we wanted to be part of the community and really maintain what we were doing. So we made sure that we did curbside delivery, uh, third party, all of those things. And, you know, throughout some of the franchisees were not able to, they, they felt like they couldn't participate, but as many Wahlburgers as we could get open, we got open and we just, we just wanted to be there to make sure that people had some sort of semblance of normalcy and just really try to be part of the community. So chef, we know you love our nation's war fighters and their families, right? You're a big military supporter. In fact, you even have a Wahlburgers at the Exchange Food Court at Kaiser Slotten Military Community Center at Ramstein Air Base in Germany. Yes. Our here, yeah. <laughs> Our heroes would love to hear some words of inspiration from you during this time. What can you share with us? Absolutely. I, and I can. It's so difficult being away from your family, obviously, being in the military and all of the things that the, the dangers and everything that they face every single day. But especially during this time where there's so many strains put on everyone and how supportive everybody needs to be. It's not to me. It's not just right now. It's every day. We need to support our military families and, 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 and our military uh, members. So it's always important to us to really be out there and to care because at the end of the day, it's, we should care for everyone. We're, everybody is in this together and we're all part of the same, we're all part of the same family, the same group, the same, the same tribe. Help each other. Absolutely. That's your spot on with that. Um, and since you've been to our food courts, you know that we have civilians working for us all over the world. We have about 33,000 people who work for the exchange, but 85% of us, we're connected to the military and we take care of them, just like you talked about. Um, our exchange team would love to hear some words of encouragement from you. It would really mean a lot. They've been working really hard during the pandemic. Um, what words of hope can you offer? I'm inspired by them. 
because I'm inspired with the work that they put in because under these very difficult times, you know, there's a strain put on everyone. And for, so for people to get up every morning and to get out there and, and put their best foot forward to try to help, it's unbelievable. And to be supportive in this time is so important for all of us. And the stress level, the tension, everything just builds and builds and builds. And for all of those people who are out there every single day, I'm in absolute awe of to watch them, to be out there, to support the military and to support their families and everybody who's affiliated with it. I'm in awe of them and I will forever be grateful to them. That's awesome. Thank, Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you for those kind words, Chef. Um, so we know good food is important, especially to our nation's war fighters. How did you get your start as a chef? What led to your passion for food and eating well? Um, for me, I was, as a kid, I was always hungry. So food was always important <laughs> to me. I, um, I had, I, I was accused of having hollow legs because I could just <laughs> eat and eat and eat all day. But, um, but for me, it, it really kind of fed two things. I enjoyed kind of the creative part of it, but I also, I learned that cooking for people makes them happy. And my, I try to make people happy. So for me, it was always important, but I started working, uh, catering with uh, where all my buddies worked, but it wasn't really the food part of it. It was more working with my buddies. And then I started working in a restaurant and I literally had a Forrest Gump moment where someone walked up and said, hey, you're pretty good at this. You should do this for a living. And I was like, okay. And that was kind of, <laughs> and, and right then and there, I, I was kind of hooked. And so for me, it just, I, I, I was very, me because it really gave me direction in my life. Awesome. So big question. What's your favorite item on the Wahlburgers menu? And then do you have any tips for us to dress up our own burgers at home if we can't get to one of your locations? Well, um, I, mine is absolutely the Owl Burger because that to me is, I, I'm a classic burger guy, lettuce, tomato, pickles, mm -hmm. onions, the wall mm -hmm. sauce, government cheese, which <laughs> reminds me exactly of where we came from and, 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 and our, and our beginnings. But, um, the best thing about burgers of like pizza, what you like makes a difference. So putting stuff on there that you like and don't be shy. There's lots of different things that you can put on there and be creative. And it's really a great expression to what you do, but always start with a great bun and a great burger, good quality, because that you're going to taste it. And so, um, you know, self-promoting. We have the wall burgers at home. So we sell our burgers in grocery stores and that works mm -hmm. out really well. But if you can't get that, getting a really good quality beef and getting a good, put a good seasoning on it, a good sear and a nice cast iron skillet makes a huge difference. Ooh. So you, you recommend then the cast iron skillet over a grill, like grilling like, is that? Uh, grilling is great. The one thing you have to be careful of is the flaring because the burgers, getting a good burger requires good fat and having a good fatty burger is really, that's where all the real flavor comes from. So if you are slightly more in direct heat on with a, like a charcoal grill, just so you have less flare up and you'll get less mm -hmm. of that carbony flavor. But hmm. I like things cooked on a grill. I like things <laughs> mm -hmm. outside. And cooking Ish. outside is a great, is always a great experience, especially with your family. You know what? I loved, um, one of my favorite things were those, I think they're, shoestring onions yeah, yeah, the onion yeah the onion our onion rings oh my gosh they're really good i can i can pack those away <laughs> <laughs> hey chef since we're talking about food we're gonna throw audible in here right we're gonna throw audible you ready oh no geez. all the viewers oh, at I, home I, get, I, to, I gotta get my audible gloves on so i can <laughs> Put them on, put them on. It's coming. You ready? So for yep. all the viewers at home, maybe they, maybe they can't get to a wall burgers or, 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 you know, something of that nature, but they need a recipe. Could you provide a quick recipe with a basic protein they could find in the house, maybe ground beef, chicken? What's a quick recipe they could make at home with household ingredients? Do you want my favorite thing in the world? Let's do it. Yeah. English muffin pizza. <gasps> let's, tell, let's tell the viewers, how do you make an English oh. muffin pizza? You, you want simple and you want good. If you can't like even simpler than that, like I'm a French toast guy. And that was one of the first things I learned to cook, but English muffin pizzas, get a good English muffin. You just need a little bit of tomato sauce, mozzarella cheese. And then I always, I like pepperoni, bake it in the oven, 
you know, just get it crispy, melt that cheese. I can eat those for days and it doesn't get any easier. I am hmm. so happy you brought those up. We used to have those as a, when I was growing up as a yep. kid and then I made them for my son when he was little. So look at me, I'm gourmet after all. <laughs> um, there's not a lot gourmet about what I eat. I'm oh, a, I, 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 I eat very simply, you know, um, because I, I prefer to eat anything that reminds me of when I was a kid and being around my family because when you think about that time in your life and that's what food is, has the power to put you in a very specific time and place in your life. If you have something that tastes like your grandmother's or tastes like your dad's or your mom's special dish, that's something special that, that only you have. And it, and it's, and it's such a warm and comforting thing. And that's the whole expression of comfort food is real and what it, and like I said, it really puts you in a very specific time and place in your life. I, I, I wonder if, uh, if, if, English muffin sliders, would that taste good? English, I, I like, <laughs> I like potato buns that we do yeah. for a burger, but English muffin sliders would be delicious. I'm gonna anything <laughs> on an, I, and again, anything on an English muffin, we uh -huh. ate lots of English muffins as kids. Cause we, that's when we were living. Cause it wasn't just plain old toast. <laughs> Cause remember there was nine of us. So there was when, when we had the English muffin pizzas, I would walk into the house and there would be like 36 English muffin pizzas made for all of us to, to get enough and really be happy with our meals. I am also one of nine, so I understand that. I understand that completely. What you just said about comfort food, that speaks directly to your mission at our, at our restaurant, at your restaurant in Germany. You're Absolutely. bringing that taste of home to the troops when they're so far away serving, you know, thousands of miles away from their loved ones. You're bringing that, you and your crew are, are bringing that to them. Um, I had the pleasure of meeting you in Germany in December at that preview party. And you were just so kind and so charming. You took photos with everybody who asked. I so that, that was someone else. I don't know. It was <laughs> definitely you because I'm like, he's getting ready to open this restaurant and you're busy, but you did not let it show on your face. You took seriously, everybody who asked you took a picture. So to me, it seems like you would be in the running to be your mom's favorite. Like that to me screams mom's favorite, right? <laughs> kind, patient, charming. I mean, what do you think? Any any word on how you're um, ranking? I it depends who's in the room. <laughs> you know how it works, right? If whoever's in the room, since you're my favorite, do this for me. Since you're my favorite, do that for me. Um, it was funny. I was at my mother's the other day, and I was hanging curtains for her um, at oh. seven thirty on a Sunday morning, just because she's like, I want to change my curtain. Okay. So I'm standing, I'm taking my life in my hands by standing on the arm and the backrest of the sofa, hoping that it doesn't tip and send me out the window. Oh, no. But um, but we did it. And, you know, being out, being out in Germany and, and, and experiencing people that were so far away from home, especially the younger people and people with their families and their kids and things like that, it that's the mission of what we're doing. Yeah. And we're there just to give, you know, to give that taste of home. I feel honored that someone would say it tastes like home. That food that we make tastes like home because that's, that's exactly what we're trying to achieve in that, in that moment. Because I just, got, I get to play with food. You know, the people in the military, they do the real work. You know, they're out there and, and they put, there's a lot at stake there and we want to be supportive of it. And so anybody who's, like I said, I'm honored to be around anybody who's participating in that. So all the people who are working for the military and, and supporting the military. Thank you. We have, um, we have one question from Annie Ailman and she wants to know how often do you change up your menu at Wahlburgers? We try to be as consistent as possible, but we always have featured burgers. We have um, we have some more regional things. We um, a lot of the restaurants will have bars attached to them, so we have different cocktails and things like that. But we try to, you know, we have a core menu that we keep, and then we like to make changes and varieties. As a matter of fact, we it's so it's ten o'clock, eleven o'clock here at oh ten fifteen. We were tasting chocolate cream pie samples. Mm. So. so <laughs> You know, we try to change things up. So uh, we're, work we're working on a few things. 
chocolate cream pie. I hope that works out for you. I really do. That sounds oh, delicious. I ate, I ate about six of them, so it's working out very well. <laughs> Bring them to we, Texas. <laughs> we also have a comment from Angela who says, wish we had a Wahlburgers at Travis Air Force Base. Hint, hint. Yes, we are. We are working to expand right now. Um, you know, obviously, with every the pandemic and everything that's been going on, you know, the world has kind of slowed a little bit. But we are definitely working towards getting onto other installations. Yeah, I think a majority of the comments are come to Stuttgart, come to Fort Campbell, come come to every military installation <laughs> out there. Send send me the list, and we will begin working on it. <laughs> there we go. You heard it here first, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to send them the list. So what's ahead for you and Wahlburger, Chef? Any upcoming projects you'd like to talk about? Well, right now, we're just trying, we're like all restaurants, we're trying to get back on our feet. We are, we're, you know, we're looking to get back to 100%. And my biggest concern is the next burger that walks out the door. That's always my concern because my job is to make people happy and to make the customers happy and make, I work, I work for the customers, I work for the staff. That's my job. So making sure that the customers are, are, are safe and happy, making sure the staff is safe and happy. That's the mission right now. Just because this, like I said, this everything that's been going on, there's not one person in this world that, that hasn't been affected, been affected by it. And so we just try to make sure that everybody's safe and happy and just making some burgers and making people happy. That's the deal. That's awesome. Someone asked, uh, I think Douglas asked, uh, Doug Linka asked, uh, what basis can I find Wahlburgers? And I'll let you know right now, we have one open at KMC Ramstein, Germany. There's another one planned to be open, Joint Base Lewis McCord, uh, once the construction's finished. And of course, I think there's some other plans, but I'm not gonna spoil it because uh, I don't wanna spill the beans. So <laughs> we'll find out, they're coming to basis. Unless Julie, Leah, do you know of any other locations? Or Paul, do you know of any other ones that we're right allowed Right now, to I mean, there's, it, again, it's just, we're, Everything has kind of changed. Uh, okay, my, oh, something was, something said I was doing something wrong and I'm not touching anything. Um, <laughs> so um, right now we're just, like I said, we're, we, we're looking at a couple of different places to expand in Germany. And then we're looking to, to start out, um, out in Washington state and then a couple of different bases. So we're, there are plans, but not, nothing is set in stone just as of yet. Good. Thank you. Um, you're getting a lot of likes and loves. People are saying how much they, they love you. They love Wahlburgers. Um, and then we do have a question from Stacy. She's asking if you'll sell the Wahlburgers at home in the commissary. We, uh, we would, we would love to, we just have to, again, you know, it's trying to go through all the different protocols right at the moment. Everything is slowed down a bit, but we would love to be able to get them in the commissaries. That's wonderful. Um, Robert Van Steenberg, he says, thank you for all your support. So, so many messages on here are saying thank you to you and to thank you for spending time with us. Um, thank you for coming to the, the installations with your restaurants and that comfort food. People really appreciate you. I just want to make sure you know that. Um, I, I, much appreciated. I don't know why any have anything to do with me, but <laughs> that's just the way that, so I appreciate that. But I, again, you know, being there to support the military has always been important to all of us. And, and cause we know, you know, we know what it means. Go ahead. No, go you ahead. go ahead. Hey, Linda says I brought the frozen wall burgers, bacon, cheese, and jalapeno burgers. So good. Uh, that sounds really good. Yeah. Aspen <laughs> says, to find these. Aspen says my husband and I visited your place in Atlanta at the Braves new stadium. Yeah. And we're blown away. It was such a family friendly atmosphere and awesome. many more comments just coming up and down yeah they do <laughs> such a great job down there so Joy lynn says we have them at the in illinois at the commissary and she also says thank you for supporting the military um bobby sue wants you to bring one to wright patterson air force base oh look at that look at the linda comment it looks like you're already in the commissaries paul Oh, awesome. Awesome. Says, yeah, I, Linda <laughs> said, I bought the Wahlburgers burgers in my Riesbad and commissary. That's awesome. Awesome. That's what, you, that's what they wrote. You see that, Julie? I do see that one. Um, do you see Larry's comment? Does Donnie ever eat regular food? <laughs> I don't. Yes, of course he does. Donnie, 
Donnie, Donnie eats the same way I do. It's that very simply loves that, that comfort food, loves anything that reminds him of being a kid and, and the meals that we had as family. So it's, uh, we, we love doing that and it was always fun. And um, he took me out to dinner one, he took um, my wife and, and kids out and I to dinner and we went to this place and he literally, and it was like a, more like a diner. And he went back and started cooking. He said, they let me cook. So he started <laughs> literally cooking for us and had, had the best time. Oh my gosh. Hey. Some people are saying also that they miss you on the show, that they miss you guys. Yeah. Well, we loved doing the show and um, my experiences doing the military pieces was um, amazing. And um, to this day, my, when we were out in Vegas at the Air Force Base there, um, they sicked the dogs on me <laughs> in, in one of those, in the training suit. And I thought that was the most fun I could ever have. Good job, Nellis Air Force Base. Yeah. A yep. lot of people say that that's fun. It, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a big dog guy. And they put, they wrapped me in this big, heavy moving blanket. So the dog wasn't piercing it. It's not fun, I'm sure on a regular basis, but in that it was just, I, it was like, um, they were so well-trained, but it was funny as I was putting on, put, putting the gear on, the dog went from just sitting there kind of looking around to getting, you could see him start to like twitch and because he knew it was going to be fun time. <laughs> he knew it was going to be fun time at that moment. And then he just had at it with me. And I just thought it was such a blast. They do Janelle a good job training the military working dogs. They do an excellent job. Oh, they, um, and to, to all of the people that I've encountered, like just the real deal, just super like well-trained, well-disciplined, everything and absolute professionals. And that was like the stuff, I was so impressed by everything, especially with the training and all of those different pieces. And when we got to fly with, um, with the Thunderbirds, wow. just so amazing to see, you know, the, 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 the real elite force and all of the people that, that are there to support them and how like true professionals they were. Everything spotless, everything in its Hey, Chef, we got a, we got a business question here from Rod Conyers. He asked, and he got a lot of likes on this question. Can we invest in Wahlburgers? Is it franchised out? How does that part work? It's, it's a French where we, we have a franchise and there's a whole franchising process. If you go to wahlburgers.com, you will find a, 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 the information about franchising. There you go, Rod. <laughs> Janelle Williams is asking, what seasoning do you use? If I'm, for me, I'm a straight salt and pepper guy on a, on a burger, you know, a kosher salt and a good bit of salt, good bit of pepper. And you, and you, it sometimes it'll look like you're doing a lot, but when you, when you're searing off meat, especially you want to get that good seasoning on it because it's going to work its way all the way through that meat. And so good salt and pepper and start with that, you need. but then, you know, you can always put garlic and herbs and whatever. What, what's great about burgers is that what you like, you can put whatever you like on there and, and it always it, it makes it delicious. You're making it for yourself and for your family. So whatever they like and whatever you like, that's what you want to do. I'm so hungry right now. Me too. <laughs> and I think you said earlier, right? The important part here is quality meat, quality buns. That yep. changes the game. Yep. That's Start, the game. You can always taste quality ingredients. And don't... The good thing is like you can... There's a lot of the stuff that you can, like, if you decided you were going to make hamburger buns on your own, you can make hamburger buns on your own. If you want to make your own pickles, all of these different things that you can make, sauces, anything you like. And that's, and it's such an, it's such a blank canvas when you really start building with food and, and working with food. And not everything works out, <clears throat> excuse me, not everything works out perfectly, but you can easily make another one. Wow. More to eat. <laughs> <laughs> Chef Joy Lynn asked, how is your mom doing? She's doing great. Like I said, I was over there the other morning. I, I actually saw her last night and um, I was over there the other, mor other morning hanging curtains. So having a good day. <laughs> 
Jeremy Rowlane says that he is right down the road from an English muffin bakery in Frederick, Maryland. And all of this talk is making him want to drive over and pick up a case. So you just made someone's day with just tell him to tell him to send the address and we'll 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 I'll um I'll I'll get over there and we'll have English muffin pizzas. Did you hear that, Jeremy? He wants to have English muffin pizzas with you. Isn't that great? <laughs> There's also, this is a little bit of a long comment, but it's from Angela. She says, I just have to praise the manager at Mall of America. I took my boys there and they were so excited to eat. Long story short, we were waiting too long, 45 minutes, because somehow they forgot about us. Anyway, the manager found out and seated us right away and gave us our food free. The boys enjoyed it and glad their first experience was delightful despite being forgotten. Well, they made it right. That's, and, you know, human beings, just our nature, you know, things mm -hmm. are going to happen. Not everything goes perfectly, but picking ourselves up, dusting ourselves off and really trying to make it right because our job is to make you happy. And you may have a bump during your experience, but as long as we get you to leave happy, we're doing our jobs. And that's, what's most important is, is, and I actually will, I will seek out people where something went wrong because I'm going to work twice as hard to make them happy. Mm. And it sounds like you guys did that for Angela and she's now a, a huge fan. Awesome. Awesome. Somebody else was asking about a breakfast menu. Do you guys have plans for one? We have them in, um, we're at, in the Toronto airport and we're also at, uh, on Boston at Logan airport. And so we have breakfast menus there and we're actually working on um, putting some breakfast menus together. So we've been, we've been doing a lot of work with that. Worth says she literally made an English muffin while watching this. Ha ha. So <laughs> <laughs> if there was a toaster close by, I would be making one as well. <laughs> one more quick question. What's your favorite type of hamburger bun to use? I think you said earlier that you guys use uh, uh, potato, potato buns. Potato bun. Yep. But it's also one of those things where if you're using the bun that you grew up with, it makes it that much better because again, it's, it's such an individual taste, but I'm, I'm a big potato, uh, potato bun. I like brioche every once in a while. I like a ciabatta roll mm. because I want a little more. It gets a little messy though. <laughs> awesome. Chief, do you see any other comments that we might've missed or anything else? Good to go. Everything's positive. Everyone loves it. Uh, 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 chef, you know, where can viewers go for more information? You mind dropping your social media handles? Let everybody know where they can find you. Uh, you know, yeah, you can, if you reach out um, to uh, Walbergers, uh, Walbergers.com and we have Walbergers on Twitter and stuff like that. I'm not a social media guy. I, uh, I, that's, I have no idea. I can cook whatever I need to cook, but that stuff, I, I'm still working my way through it. I, this took me six and a half hours to get this set up. Oh, today, no. So. Oh, no, I hope it didn't really take that no, long. No, 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 it didn't. It, it, okay, it, good. But, I'm like, oh, but, no. But the first time I did it was about four weeks ago, and that took about that long. <laughs> but the good thing is with this, obviously with this technology, we've been doing a lot of family meetings with everybody kind of scattered. Aww. Is that a Rangers? You got a Rangers, really? I I do. I'm sorry. <laughs> I, do. I have my Texas. We're here in Dallas, so I do enjoy baseball, Texas Rangers. And then you're gonna hate this, but I have a shrine to the St. Louis Cardinals behind me. So I know you're probably a Red Sox guy. <laughs> I will. I will tell you when. And and I don't want this to sound odd, but when <laughs> when we played them in the World Series and and we were fortunate enough to win. The St. Louis team let any of the Boston fans that were outside the building come in and celebrate it with them. Oh. The class act. St. Louis Cardinals oh. are an absolute class act. And so, yes, I, you know, I, you know what? I love homers and anybody who supports their home teams, then, you know, I'm all for it because that's where you can have the most fun and the most banter. Absolutely. I, I agree. I love baseball and I love Wahlburgers and I love, we love you and your family. And um, it's been great having you spend time well, with us you. today. Thank you very much. And I just want to say 
thank you to all, I know all of you work so hard supporting the military. And I wanna say thank you to everybody in the military and thank you to all the supporters and the families of the military supporters. So thank you. Well, Chef, thank you for spending time with us today. We appreciate you and your support for our Airmen, Soldiers, Sailors, Marine, and Coasties. Uh, I look forward to seeing Wahlburgers at more military installations. I, I wish you the best of success. Thank you so much for taking thank time. Thank you. Thank you so much. And be safe. You too, sir. You've been a or Paul. No, sorry. <laughs> yeah, I forgot. Sorry. I think, the viewers, I think the viewers missed it when I called them, sir. I got chewed out. <laughs> no, there's no, there's no chewing out. It was just a reminder that my dad was not here. <laughs> well, thank you so much for thank joining you. us, Paul. It was an absolute pleasure. Thank you very much. Thank you, Chef. It's all ours. Thank you. All right. Take care. Be safe. Bye.